Can't get enough prayer, y'all. God bless, God bless. Heavenly Father, Lord, we just all come into agreement right now, Lord. One thing I always say is you cannot fabricate the Holy Spirit. And what's been going on here today, I just love that, that this church and my brothers is led by the Spirit and how we move that altar call. Move my heart. I just wanted to say that. So, Heavenly Father, Lord, we thank you for, for what you're doing in this church, Lord. We thank you for every single person that was able to come out here today, Lord. And like I do every week because I'm not in New Orleans, Lord, we bless every single person that's tuning in, whether it's live or they catch it later, Lord. Lord, we just ask that right now you meet everybody where they need to be met, Lord, especially in this season where, where the enemy likes to play with people's minds due to finances, due to, due to just the way the, the way the enemy's trying to tear apart families in a, in a season that should just be about Jesus and love, Lord. So, Lord, we thank you, Lord, for, for the blessing that this church has been, Lord. We lift up every single care and burden in, in this house right now, Lord. Lord, we remove every, 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 any turmoil from their hearts right now, Lord, and we just ask that your Holy Spirit have your way in their hearts, Lord. We, th we ask that nobody leave here the way they came, Lord, and we thank you that you've been doing that, that you've been touching hearts, Lord, that you've been, that you've been just transforming, Lord, just e even me, Lord, even, even what you did to, to me today, Lord. I just, I, we just thank you, Lord. We give you all the honor. We give you all the praise, Lord. And we love you, Father, Lord God. We thank you, Lord. We thank you that you chose us, Lord God. We thank you that we are not worthy, Lord. And, and like my sis said, but he just, we, we're that expensive thing that he purchased with, the, with his blood. So we thank you, Father. We thank you for your sacrifice, and we thank you for choosing us. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, we pray. Amen. Amen. Did I tell you it was harvest time? Yes, sir. So... Ashley, Women's Conference 2022. Yeah. Who's going to go? What ladies are going to go? Amen. Amen. Oh, we got two ladies? Excuse me? Women's Conference 2022. Who's about that? Y'all yeah. made more noise for the women's group. <laughs> there we go. There we go. There we go. So have I told y'all this harvest? Oh, we're going to do a men's conference too. You heard me? Yeah. We got y'all. Finally, Lord, the Holy Spirit is in our house. Amen. amen, amen. Who's been blessed by this series? Yeah. Amen. Harvest time. I just looked back at part two. I was like, this is no, the first part one, I was like, oh, this is going to be, we're going to have a part two. Then I said, we might have a trilogy. And now it's like, well, what is this called now? Like, we at part nine. Saga. The saga continues. Oh, we about to go into 2022 with this thing, you know what I mean? It's harvest time, amen? We're not going into 22 like this. We're going to 2022 like George Jefferson, you know what I mean? We're moving on up, you know what I mean? We go up there in Jesus' name. God is doing something, amen? God is doing something in the hearts of men, women, and children. And he said, I chose to despise things of the world to confound the wise. Yeah, amen, you may have felt you like you've been in the dirt, amen? But let the dirt do its work, amen? Everything goes on beneath the surface, what we don't see, because that's faith. The substance of things hoped for, the evidence of that which is not seen, even though I feel like I'm smothered in dirt and I can't see nothing. God, I know you're working because your word cannot come back void. And as we get filled with his word, his word has to produce fruit. But it's depending on what we're putting in our soil. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Oh, come on, somebody. Are you fertile soil? Or are you throwing poison in your soil? Come on, somebody. These are ear gates and these are eye gates. What comes in a man will surely come out. Amen. You need to be feeding your soil with the word of God, with, the, with, with, with praise and worship, with fellowship. I'm talking about fellowship where God is being glorified and he's in the midst and we gathered in his name. All of that's feeding your soil. And how many know fertile soil produces great fruit? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Amen. Yes, sir. And like we said, we're talking about the pomegranate. Amen. Thank you, Sister Eleanor, for your tutorial. Showed us how to eat the pomegranate because I sure cut that thing open and me and my son looked like wolves in there. We was eating and spitting out the seeds. The bread was all over the place. My son like, Daddy, this is good. I'm like, I know, I'm, bro. and I'm eating it. And then little Elijah's right there like, oh, me, I want some, I want some. And he, oh, oh, it was a mess. It was a mess, but it was a beautiful mess. Amen. Praise God. So now I know how to open it, though. Cut the bottom, and then you slice it to the size and crack it open, and you get all of the pomegranate juice. In the, it's funny how the exterior is rugged, right? 
It's a rugged exterior. And then when you cut it open, they got the seeds, but the seed is encapsulated with the fluid, with the juice, right? So it's like, oh, the rugged cross, the cross produced the blood, and the blood secures the seed. We're the seed, covered by the blood. But we better stay behind that old rugged cross. Oh, the enemy wants you. To, the enemy wants to get you off that cross. Oh, you know, we gotta crucify ourselves daily, right? Yes. Problem with that, the pastor might be saying, "You go boom, you get that, then you get that, but then you still got this hair. You're trying to reach somebody, amen. You still got this hair free. No, we gotta crucify ourselves daily amen. to that cross because that's where the fruit's at, amen." amen. So we're going to get into all of that, but the pomegranate is just so prophetic because I didn't even know that's what was in season. Amen. I, I'm not, I, 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 don't study the, I don't study culinary arts or, or farming or agriculture. I don't study none of that stuff. I study the word of God. And God said, look at what's in season right now. So I begin to do research, study to show myself approve a workman rightly dividing the word of truth. So in my studies, I found out that the, what's in harvest in this season is pomegranate. Pomegranate just lit up. I'm like, I know about that because of the Bible. I didn't know it was in Rouses. You know what I mean? I'm thinking it's in Jerusalem somewhere, right? I'm just being real with y'all. I'm not here to impress nobody like I'm this intellectual scholar. I'm a man that loves God. And I'm seeking him with my whole heart. Amen. Amen. Praise God. Amen. So as I read the study and I'm looking at the pomegranate, I'm like, I know the pomegranate. So then I just begin to look at it in the word and it was on a high priest robe. And I know that we're a chosen people, a royal priesthood. And the high priest would go past the veil into the holies of holies with the sacrifice, with the blood to make atonement for his sins of his family and his people. But see, now we don't have to go through no man because Jesus Christ ripped the veil. It's been torn. Amen. And now we can go in the presence. Amen. And us as men. We're the priest king and the anointing flows from the top that'll break the yoke. So we go through the holies of holies for our families interceding on their behalf. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. And a lot of times now the women are rising up. And sometimes the women are having to take place of the man and it's backwards and things are out of order. Like my house one time was out of order and it took the woman of God laying hands on me while I was sleeping, praying that God will close the doors that the enemy was opening. Yes, sir. She didn't confess that till after I was saved. I'm like, what? That's, a, that's why this was happening? Praise God. Thank you. It made me honor her even more. Amen. But right now, God is putting everything back in position because he's coming back for his church. Amen. So when a man falls in a rightful position of dominion, power, and authority, the anointing flows. Amen. Now, you and your girlfriend is going to become your wife, and then y'all become a power couple for the glory of God. We got two weddings scheduled on the books already. Amen. Come on, somebody. Stand up if you're about to get married. Oh, we got three weddings on the book. Did, did, did I tell you it's harvest time? Brother, you, you can stand up in faith. Amen. God is putting that, making that mighty woman a God for you. Amen. Go ahead, stand up. We, go ahead, stand up. Speak those things that are not as if they are. Amen. And guess what? Women, if you want a husband, start acting like a wife. <laughs> oh, I had to drive the mic. I had to drive the mic. Man, you want a wife, start acting like a husband. <laughs> Slam dunk it. Sister, you missed it. They got up. Y'all about to get married. <laughs> See what happens? You, you, you could miss a lot just going to the bathroom. Amen. So you, that, that's just like the phone. Put it on airplane mode. We about to take off. Because you know, you know you would get, can, can, let's, we got to be real in church. You be in church and get a text message from somebody you're trying to duck. And that's why you're in church to begin with. Because you know you need Jesus. And then you get that and now you're, I'm in church. And you're missing the word going forward. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. One word will change your whole life. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. One, word. One word. One word from God changed my life. And I was, I told y'all, I was a drug baby. My mama didn't do drugs. My grandma drugged me to church. Amen. But the word does not come back void. Amen. But I, I know I would have been in church, but it never hit me. 
It never hit me. And then that one day, I'm talking about, and then I'm going to church with her because my lawyer told me to go. He said, you need to go NAAA, ABC, church programs. I'm just being real. And God will work whatever, he, whatever. God will get you there. But when you come, you can have a motive. You could have came here because somebody drug you to church. You could have had a motive, amen. But God will meet you right where you at. So since you're here, receive what he freely wants to give you while you're here. Amen. Praise God. Because the altar call went forward. She's over there elbowing me. Y'all know how y'all do. She's elbowing me like, I'm like, that's not her. And then as soon as we got out there, why you, you, you didn't get up there? If anybody needed, they did that whole altar call for you. Why? I said, I'm not going to play with that. Like, I'm already here. I feel like bad. I'm not going to go up there. I might die, you know. So, <laughs> so, so, so I said, I'm not, you know. So I went back, and God is so good. She kept praying. The next day, Pastor Anthony Marquis shared his testimony, and it just was cutting me. It just was cutting me. It wasn't the exact life like my life, but it was a lot of stuff, same things. And I was just broken. I'm crying like a baby. I went to that altar. Nobody had to elbow me or nothing. I was drawn to that altar. And I gave my life to Jesus Christ right then and there. Did I leave perfect? No. Am I perfect? No. I serve a perfect God. And I'm being transformed in his image. So I'm being transformed into perfection. And then the Bible says, be ye perfect as I am perfect. Looking at the text, it's just maturity. So go ahead and tap yourself and say, I need to grow up. Amen. 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 So grow up. Oh, we're talking about seed. Did we say it was harvest time? Okay, okay. So the seed, when the seed goes in the ground, it looks, it looks like this. No, that's, yeah, here we go. So look at the first part. It's just in there. You got to get buried. It looks like, a, it looks like a, it looks like a, like a grave. It looks like, it looks like a funeral. And there is a funeral when we give our life to Christ. It's death to the old man. Amen. So it gets buried. And see this? The roots is what sprouts out first. And it comes up. When we get a revelation that Jesus Christ is Lord and is King, it's because we look up. But the minute we look up, we get broken down. Because when we realize how good he is, we realize how good we not. Amen. Amen. And it makes us that gracious, like, man, God, you're so good. Hello, I don't deserve this. Yes, but you saw it worthy. Since your only begotten son that whoever will believe in him shall not perish but have eternal life. So the roots come out the seed first. And then it starts getting pulled down. Then it goes even further down. Because when you give your life to Christ, you need to get rooted in the word. And then it feels like things are going to bring you down because the life is brand new now. Now you got to relearn everything, but the deeper you get watered, the roots get deeper and get deeper. And look, look, look what happens. See what's inside the sea? That thing flips over like your whole life gets flipped over upside down. Amen. So what was inside of you got to come out of you. Amen. As you reach to be more like Christ. I don't want to be like nobody but Jesus. Amen. So then in the process of that and I get rooted, the deeper my roots go, the higher I can grow. And when I come out the dirt and then I got leaves and my leaves will be healing to a nation and my fruit will produce the power of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Then we turn into this thing. Now other people can eat off of us. Other people can find shelter. Amen. Because we represent Jesus and we growing like trees. Amen. Did I say it was harvest time? And we're talking about what's in season right now? Oh, we got some agricultural scholars in the building. All right. Do you know pomegranate can grow in diverse soil? Yes, sir. Oh, man. Yes, sir. Oh, man. He caught it. Yes, sir. He caught it. That means it doesn't matter where you come from. Right. Oh, it doesn't matter what color he is. It doesn't matter. Quien tu tío es, y quien tu tía fue, y tu abuelita, y tu abuelito. None of that matters. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. 
Because the pomegranate grows in diverse soil. It doesn't, people will put a limitation on you based upon your last name. No, you carry the name of Jesus Christ, amen. And God said, I will make your name great. It doesn't matter what grandpa did. It doesn't matter what great grandpa did. What matters is what I'm going to do. I'm going to break the generational curses and it's going to produce a blessing because the righteous will leave an inheritance to their children, amen. Praise God. So the pomegranate grows in diverse soil. Then, you know, there's 613 seeds in the pomegranate. And in March 613, about casting out demons. So it's about power and authority. But the pomegranate is also acknowledged by every other religion. It's in the Quran. It's in the Torah. It's in the Serenians. But guess what? That's all counterfeit. Yes, so if we're in the season and this is what's in harvest, that means there's a lot of counterfeit in harvest right now. That means you better know your Bible, amen? Because when people speak, look, show me where that's at in the Bible, amen? Because in these last days, many false prophets will arise, amen? But come on, somebody. They can't get over on you if you know the word. The Holy Spirit going to let you know that ain't right. Where's that? Like Ashley be saying, where, where's that in the Bible? Amen? Give me the address. I want to come pull up and visit that for myself. Amen? So the pomegranate, it grows in diverse soil, so it doesn't matter where we're from. The pomegranate was also found in the promised land, amen, when Moses sent out the spies and they brought back pomegranate. It was in the land of the promise, amen, but only two people believed in the report of the Lord and spoke it, and guess what? Two people out of that generation was the only ones able to inherit the promise. So don't worry about what nobody else is saying. You need to know what God's saying, Amen. And even it, and then guess what? If it feels like it's impossible, that's God. Amen. If you feel like you can do it, that could be you. Amen. Because what God wants to call you to is bigger than you. Amen. It's the high call in Christ Jesus. Amen? Amen. Praise God. Come on, this is bigger than me. Who, who was at the, who was at the, praise God, who was at the, uh, the toy drive yesterday? You know we started that thing seven years ago in the mouth with like, $200 worth of toys and a lot of uh, drinks and stuff that was donated. Didn't even have a permit. I didn't even know about all that. So go ahead, judge me if y'all want. Y'all super holy righteous. I'm just transparent. We was driving, doing street ministry. God said, I want you to do outreach right there. I'm like, right there, God? Right there where I used to score dope and do all this? and th Right there? He said, yeah, I want you to do it right there. You sowed a lot of bad seed. Now it's time to uproot. I said, well, I ain't got no money. <laughs> God is a God. You don't limit God to money. Amen. Don't limit God to your bank account. If you look at that, you're always going to come short because he don't want your God to be that. Amen. Amen. Amen? So then I put up a post, and then this P, you'll be surprised. Who wants to do something but just needs some leadership and guidance? Look, Sister Sarah about to break her neck, shaking her head. All the hundred thousands of people that God uses you to feed. Praise God. So... As I put up the post and I did it and we started setting up and I'm going through the mouth and I'm inviting people and then my cousin calls me and I, was, I, I said, I hear him, hold on, hold on, this is who you need to talk to. And he puts me on the phone with the police. <laughs> I'm like, man, how you rocking? And the police like, do you all have a permit? I said, I, I, no, I ain't got no permit, but you, the Holy Spirit told me. He's like, Holy Spirit. Look, I said, look, I'm coming over there. I started sharing my testimony with him and he's like, you know you're supposed to have a permit, but don't even worry about it. I will never stop with this. I'll never stop what God's doing here. He said, I'm going to work detail for y'all for free, 99. Amen? And we didn't have enough toys. God multiplied the food and the fish and the bread. We prayed over the toys. Then some other brothers came up from another ministry and seen that we was running out of toys and they ran and went bought some toys. Then somebody else pulled up with a truck said, I seen your post, man. I'm sorry I'm late. Pulled up with a truck of toys. Amen. So all of the kids got two toys, double portion. Amen. But guess what? That started 20, 30 people. And then God's brought it from glory to glory to glory to glory. Hundreds of people received the gospel yesterday. Amen. Hundreds of kids are going to be saying, what are they going to be saying? Did Santa Claus give you all these toys? Did Jesus give you all these toys? Oh, yeah, I, I felt bad if the parents was telling them about Santa Claus. I'm like, 
Well, they're going to get the truth here. Amen. Jesus did this. Praise God. But as we get planted, as we begin to grow, and the pomegranate also, its leaves change with the seasons. Like, it gets a beautiful brownish color and a green color. Amen. You might not be where you want to be, but just let the seasons go. Don't get caught in the season you're in. Just proceed to receive that living water. Proceed to get planted in a church that's filled with the Holy Spirit. Proceed to get out your mind and receive what God wants to freely get. Don't rush the process. There's things that he's working out of you. He's making you to become because where he's going to bring you, he don't want that. You can't bring that same stuff with you. Amen. Like I said, when we did that altar call, people was delivered of all kinds of drugs. But you got your secret sin back here and you got this hand out trying to receive something from God. But what God wants to give you is going to require two hands because it's so big. One hand is going to break it. Amen. And when God gives you something, it's perfect. It's in the right season. So if you ain't got it yet, it just means you're not in the season yet. Amen. The beautiful thing about a season, it has a beginning and it has an end. Amen? Amen. So keep going through the seasons. So then it brought me like, all right, so, the, so what happens is gravity is what's pulling it down, but the way up is down because we got to humble ourselves so he can be exalted because when we exalt ourselves, he will humble us. Amen? Like he had to humble me. So there's a gravitational pull that's pulling things down, right? Like this. And there's also a haterational pull, what I like to call it, West Bank translation. There's people in your life that just want to pull you down. They're making you weary. Because guess guess what? A kingdom connection is always going to add on to your life. It's not just going to take, 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 take. Be careful. People just want to take, take, take. Now, I'm not, don't, not, don't, don't say, get out of my life, pastor. Say you a gravitational pull. Do not blame me for that. I didn't say that. You just need to politely remove yourself. Amen? Get in the presence of God. Amen? Feed your spirit. You get you you together before you're trying to help everybody else and you're growing weary because you're not filled up. So you're pouring out here, you're pouring out there, and you're missing this, and now you're getting weary and well-doing. No, man. Work on you. Work on you. God is making you to become. Amen? So the haterational pull that's pulling things down, amen? So do you know there's a, all right, is there gravity in outer space? Praise God. Look, I just learned this too. So if you got the wrong answer, it's all good. They do have gravity in space. You live with the past. So. (laughs) So check it out. It's called microgravity. So it lessens, it weakens. That's why they could jump and be like floating, because it weakens microgravity, right? And God was showing me. The higher we climb in the spirit, these things will no longer pull us down. The higher we climb in the spirit, now guess what? It's still gonna pull us a little bit because we're human and we got this flesh. I prayed when I first got saved, God, look, I don't want flesh. I don't want free will. Take that away from me because I will mess things up. Take that away. And then God said, I don't want a bunch of robots. I'm God. I can make you serve me. I can make you pray when the sun goes up and down. No, I want those that are sincerely after me. Those that heart is fixed on me. Those are the ones I want. And then he transforms you in his image from glory to glory because you're abiding in him. His words abiding in you. And then you can ask any request and it shall be granted. So we got to go up in the spirit so these things will no longer move us down. Amen. So when I said microgravity, he gave me an acronym. Moving in Christ's redeeming orbit moving in Christ's redeeming orbit amen we got to be dead and hid in Christ Jesus we got to move in Christ amen if we're dead to self then who's alive Christ in you which is the hope of glory moving in Christ redeeming orbit is your words is your actions are they bringing redemption is your words important grace upon the hearer and this is going to help some people so like whenever people like honk the honk bah, 
say, micro, micro, micro. I got to move in Christ. I got to move in Christ. When, when, when they say, hey, you ain't finna to take the trash out. Micro, micro, micro. Just take the trash out. Amen. Whatever. When you go on the job site and you know, they are, you know there's certain people that know how to hit certain buttons that pull you down. Amen. Don't break your neck. Amen. So when that happens, say, micro, micro, micro. I got to move in Christ. Amen. Because we're covered in Christ. There's a quiet place, a safe place that the devil can't find you. And that's under the shelter of the most high. Amen. Micro, micro, micro. We got to micro. They, they honk the horn. Micro. They curse you out. Micro. They throw dirt on your name. Micro. Now watch this. When people throw dirt on your name, that's actually soil that's going to be utilized for you to grow higher. Amen. Oh, oh, for you to grow up. Amen. But watch this. When they throw dirt on you and throw dirt on your name and you throw it back, you just lost the soil that was sent for you to grow and wasted, exhausted the same energy that you should be using to be transformed and elevate that same energy you wasted to bring yourself down. Oh, come on, somebody. Grab it. It's soil. Humble yourself so he can be exalted. Amen. The Lord has no waste today. Every opportunity we have to humble ourselves is God giving us an opportunity for him to lift us up. Amen? Micro, micro, I want to be weightless in this thing. Praise God. Matthew 23, 12. And whoever exalts himself, well, whoever, y'all know what that means in the Greek? Whoever, amen? Whoever exalts himself will be humble. And he who humbles himself will be exalted. Secure the seed. What's in season? The pomegranate? Yeah, that's what we were talking about. So the seed, 613, right? So just looking at the exterior in the, in the old rugged cross, I, this is what God gave me. We're the seed covered by the blood protected behind that old rugged cross. Matthew 16, 24. Then said Jesus unto his disciples, if any man will come after me, let him deny himself and take up his cross and follow me. Deny himself. If you deny yourself, who are you saying yes to? Jesus. Take up his cross and follow me. The things that make you have to die, that's your cross. The things that make you not act like you used to act, that's your cross. You take it up. Some things are set in your life. I'm telling you, it's not dirt. Once you get a kingdom perspective on it, you'll stop moving how you used to move, and you'll understand, you'll recognize the enemy. Soldiers wear fatigues to blend in the terrain. If you don't see your opponent, if you don't see your adversary, they got you. So we got to recognize we're not at war with flesh and blood. It's demonic principalities. We got to understand that Romans 8, 28 is a promise that he will make all things work together. How many things? Oh, we up in Jesus' name. So if we deny ourselves and we say yes to him, he gives us instructions and his instructions lead to construction. God, God gives us instructions to bring us from glory to glory to glory. Praise God. Colossians 3, 3. For ye are dead. And your life is here with Christ in God. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Before, before you start that, let me give you all a little example. Our lives, are, we should be dead and hid with Christ in God. For ye are dead and your life is hid with Christ in God. Does a dead body respond? You can spit on it, slap. Is it gonna, you're going to get a response from it? So why does everybody get a response from you? Not y'all, not y'all. Talking about the mother people. For you are dead and your life is here with Christ in God. We are dead. Our life is here with Christ in God. I, I haven't been saved my whole life. I know that might shock a lot of y'all. But when I was younger, I was skipping school. I don't encourage nobody to do it. And it was me and my friend, and so we was walking, and we was, we was in the back, and then the police pull up. 
And when the police pull up, we was also doing other things or whatever. So when the police pulls up, like he pulled up right on me. He said, hey, what you doing? I said, oh, man, I missed the bus. I'm trying to get a ride to school. We're knocking on his door, about to see if they're home, see if, if they could bring us to school. Oh, I'll bring you. <laughs> I said, yeah, right. He said, you trying to go to school? I'll bring you to school. I said, you serious? You're going to bring me to school? He's like, yeah, I'm going to bring you to school. Just get in the car. I said, all right. He said, what, what, what's your friend doing? My friend's over there like this. This is the tree? And he's like this. I, I'm not lying. This is the tree. He's like this, like, like this. And the police like, what is he doing over there? I'm like, man, look, look, come here. Come here, he's going to bring us to school. So then he turned around like he was using the bathroom back there, whatever. But it was so funny. He's trying to hide between, behind this little tree, and he's like this. But this is us if we're not fully dead to ourselves. This is us trying to hide in Christ, but we still want to be ourselves. Amen. That's how we look. We're not hiding in Christ. And guess what? The enemy seeks whom he may devour. If you're not hid in Christ Jesus, he got you. He wants to kill you. He don't want to play with you. He don't need you. People are born in sin every day. He wants to kill you. He wants to kill your children. He is the ultimate hater. Amen. But he has no power or authority. Now, if you give him authority, then he has power, but he can't take it. You got to give it to to him. Submit to the Lord. Resist the devil. Come on, scholars. Submit to God. Resist the devil. And he will flee. We don't run from the devil. He runs from us. Amen? But we have to be dead and hid in Christ with God. Amen? Oh, come on, somebody. Deny yourself. Deny yourself. The seed was covered by the blood. The blood was the old rugged cross produced the blood, amen? There's nothing that can go against the blood of Jesus Christ. He that is in you is greater than he that is in the world. No weapon formed against you shall prosper. He is not man that shall lie. His promises are yes and amen. My covenant, I will not break or alter a word that comes out of my lips. If you're moving in depression, you just received a dish from the enemy that wants to kill you. You turn that around, you flip that around, micro moving in Christ's redeeming orbit. I've been redeemed. I'm covered by the blood of Jesus Christ. It might not be where I want to be, but I'm going to get there because I'm delighting in him. And he's going to give me the desires of my heart. The power is in the blood of Jesus Christ. The enemy wants to attack the blood, wants you to believe this ain't real. Because once you believe one scripture ain't real, you start questioning the whole Bible. The pomegranate also reveals false prophets. So many misinformation out there right now. Oh, this came from there and that came from that. Oh, and the world started. No, 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 baby. He said the beginning. He didn't put a date on it. Amen. The beginning is exactly what it is. The beginning. Amen. God created all things and all things were made by God and for God. Amen. So if you're doing something for yourself, you're not doing it for God. And that's the spirit of the Antichrist. You need to humble yourself and hide behind that cross. The minute you want to come from out that cross and say, oh, look at me. Oh, you just fell. You just fell and pride comes before the fall. It's not, oh, look at me. It's, oh, look at he. I was nothing without God and I won't be nothing without God. But with God, I'm going to be everything that he declared for me to be. And like I said, we don't compete. We complete. Amen. We're not in competition. There's no division. We on the same team. Whether you reach a one, a hundred, or a thousand, you're doing your purpose, amen? Because he left 99 for one. And when you find your purpose, then you become complete, amen? It's nothing like a life that you're living and you're just going through the motions. You're just clocking in, clocking out. But once you realize this is your harvest field, when you clock in, you're like, who going to get it today? God, give me a word. Give me a when they, when, they, when they shut you down and, and mock you and make fun of you, all they're doing is throwing dirt on you. All they're doing is throwing dirt on you. Guess what? You feed the soil, you're going to jump out that dirt one day. And you're going to glorify Christ Jesus. And did I tell y'all it was harvest time? Oh, I had a co-worker that threw so much dirt on me. God bless him, man, bro. He started following me yesterday and started liking, like, every post, amen. I'm like, man, praise God. Come to church, brother. I, didn't, I wasn't like, I told you that I, no, no, no. I learned that mistake years ago, amen. 
We live to give glory to God. And when we give glory to God, amen, and he looks down upon his child, he's like, look at, look at him. Look at how she's delighting in me. Oh, this is her desire, and I know it because I placed it there, but I wouldn't let her complete that. I wouldn't let him complete that without me because then she would think she was God or he would think he was God. But once you turn it over to him, then he does it, and you acknowledge him as Lord, and then he could proceed to do it. Glory to glory to glory, amen? Satan is after your power. We have dominion and authority. Satan wanted to lift his throne up. He wanted to be like God. He wanted to be as God. See, he didn't want the worship to go through him no more. He wanted it to come to him, and he fell like lightning. And guess where he fell? He fell down here. So guess what? He was after God's power, now he's after your power. Because you have power in Christ Jesus through the blood of Jesus Christ. Amen? The power's in the blood. Start pleading the blood, amen? And I know, I know we're going over, amen, and I, I see we hungry, and I know we're doing part 10 because I'm hungry. I'm hungry for both things. Spiritual steak, physical steak, baked potato with cheese rolling off the side of the plate in Jesus' name. So let's pray it out. <laughs> so look, we said it on the second part. God might take us into the new year with this. And he's given me the word for this church. And I, I strongly believe there's a reason y'all here today. You could have been anywhere in America or the country. Amen. You too. You too. But y'all here in this house. And not only them. How many of y'all it was a It doesn't matter. Yeah, he came from New York and he come from Texas. They got here. But how many of y'all it was a battle to come from the East Bay? Come on. Come on. Be real. It was a battle to come from West Wego. And it's right to skip in a hop. Because the enemy don't want you here. You're going to have to walk over Legos, hurt your toes, you know what I mean? He don't want you here. Because in this environment, it's conducive to life and growth. You know where he wants you? He wants you in the club. Where he can steal from you, and he can take from you, he can ruin your soil, you know I mean? He wants you in a drug house. He wants you in the bar so he can damage your soil. So you can't produce what God called you to produce. So what's inside of you gets killed and drained out by the cares of this world. That's where he wants you, but guess what? You're where God wants you. And God is faithful, amen? And we're going to walk into this new year with power, dominion, and authority. God is calling our city to revival. And everybody here got a part to play in that. And that's why you're here. And together as the body of Christ, we're going to reach the nations. Amen. For the glory of God. Judgment's going to start in the house of God. So we're going to keep our house in order. And we're going to go pour out. We're going to go pull people out. And it's all for God's glory. Are y'all rocking with us? Are y'all rocking with him? Come on, rise on your feet. Oh, Father, we thank you. Father, we give you all honor, praise, and glory. Father, we want nothing more than for your will, will to be done on earth as it is in heaven, Father. Father, I speak your will done over your people, Father. I pray everything inside of them that you put there, it shall come out in your time and your season. I pray that they do not grow weary in well-doing, for in due season they shall reap in abundance because they will not faint. Father, I thank you for them. I thank you for their hearts. I thank you for the calling on their life, Father. I lift them up to you along with their cares and their burdens. I speak restoration over the home, Father. Father, I pray that I pray for the children that are wilding out, Father. I pray that they come to themselves, Lord. And I pray for the family structure to be solid father that they build on your solid foundation and you will bring them from glory to glory father father we thank you we rebuke the devourer coward devil you cannot steal a seed from going forward today everything fell upon fertile soil we claim it and it shall produce great fruit in the mighty name of jesus christ we pray and let the church scream Amen. Amen.